Hello, everyone. Thank you for the great countdown. Okay, that's enough. Uh, you are uh, very, uh, very, uh, very fun for me. Uh, it was good for my heart. Uh, I, I needed love, and you, uh, you provided me with love. Now, uh, welcome to episode number 18 of, of En Route Vers Two Survivor. And uh, what does episode 18 mean? It means the podcast can now go to bars. <laughs> ah, very funny joke. I've been preparing this joke for four months. I went to Magog just to do this joke, and it was a success. And thank you, Magog. Uh, it proved me good, and the joke worked. <laughs> and I have no more jokes, uh, so it's going to be like uh, emptiness from now on. No, uh, but uh, thank you. Uh, it's episode number 18. We've no we haven't been doing an episode uh, for the reason you probably uh, can uh, deduce. Is deduce a word? It's a word, or maybe not, but it's going to become one. Okay, so, um, so uh, thank you. We are now, we were uh, previously at Le Terminal, but uh, now we are at Le Bordel uh, Comedy Club uh, for like uh, sanitary reasons. <laughs> that, that word was a gamble, but... <laughs> Uh, so, uh, and, um, and uh, I, I, the other good thing about the fact that uh, there was a four months pause is that I could uh, take a big uh, time to make my research to find my next guest because uh, it's, uh, often it's on the fly, and, uh, but now I had like four months to make a big research and uh, uh, I'm going to present uh, present my guest now. I think it's time for it, uh, and it's going to be like um, uh, even more curious and mysterious because he's going to have a mask. So <laughs> it's it's going to be even more tough to identify him. But I'm glad he said yes. Here's Mike Ward. <laughs> oh yes. Hello, Mike. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, Mike. Thanks, guys. Oh, man. How's it going? Because uh, it was tough because uh, your uh, forehead is really uh, unlike no foreheads. Really? Yeah. <laughs> because your face was covered and your forehead, it looked a bit like a Guy Nantel's forehead. Okay. <laughs> I have a big... Uh, that means I'm going bald now? Uh, you're bald and you have a big head. No, no, no. Okay. But uh, and you're going uh, for the party Quebecois, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you would be, exactly. you would be a good, uh, you would be great in all the debates. Yeah, I would be. Yes. Do yeah. you think you can? Uh, I be... think I'm a natural born leader. Yes. Yeah. Do you think? Do you want to be like uh, uh, the André du Charme of Guillaume Page and a whisper thing in Guy Nantel's ears during his debate? Do you think, do, do, do they have that for debates? Is there like someone? No, it was, I, I was going for a joke here, yeah. but. Because uh, I think the you only left, thing. You left me hanging. Thank you a lot. Uh, the only thing I'd be able to do would be think of jokes. Like I wouldn't be a good, no. good person. Uh, like whatever debate, I, I'd always, or it just jokes or insults. Yeah, so yeah. Guinatel would have a lot of. Uh, Pursuits, uh, not pursuits. Pursuits, lawsuits. <laughs> lawsuits. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, so we're not going to do that. I want to be. Wait, if Guy Nantel becomes a premier of Quebec, I want to be his doctor Arudo. <laughs> oh, <really? laughs> yeah. I want to be the guy that's kind of a doctor, kind of fun. I want to okay. do. Uh, sing. You want to dance? I want to dance. Uh, if a rapper wants to do a video, I'll do it. Okay. Uh, yeah. You're going to be very, very willing. Yeah, very willing. <laughs> that was... What the fuck happened? Uh, well, I, I'm kind of rouillé. What yeah. is rouillé in English? Ru uh, rusty. I'm rusty. Yeah. It, it, uh, rusty is, uh, is also like a, 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 a name. Yeah, a nickname. Yeah, Rusty. A nickname, yeah. yeah. I think Ru Ru Rusty might be a real name, but it sounds like a nickname for like Russell. Oh, okay. Rusty. Because Rusty was the, uh, a name of a... Uh, 
et euh, calvaire. J'ai un uh, mot uh, super baseball simple. Player? There, there was a baseball player named Rusty. Rusty Stubb? Yeah, the, Rusty Stubb. The Stab. Big Orange. I think his nickname was The Big Orange. Is that his was nickname? Rusty What Stab. a shitty nickname. <laughs> yes, because the he had... The Big a, Orange. Because he had a, a red hair. Okay. The But Big uh, I, I was looking... I'm really... I've become more dumb than ever. I'm looking... I'm, I can't find the word for like a stallion, but uh, like a, the simple term... A horse? For, yes! <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm you not... remembered stallion, but yes. not horse? I, I, I drew a blank. That doesn't make sense. And what is like the golden retriever? Uh, a dog? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> This one's a joke, but the, the horse was real. Uh, okay. I uh, really, uh, yeah, my memory. Uh, do, was what, the... do you remember all the animals? What's a cochon? A pig. Pig, okay. A show? A cat. Okay. <laughs> That's I'm good. very good. I yeah, guess. you're very good. Yeah. Go uh, like more difficult animals. Uh, zebra. A zebra. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, pig boar. Oh, Chris. Uh, uh, something wood. Pick yeah. wood. It's a woodpecker. A uh, woodpecker, yeah. If, yeah. I, if I would have had a, a choix de réponse. Okay. Uh, what's, what's a choix de réponse? It's, a, it's a, um, optional options. No, it's multiple choice. <laughs> multiple choice. Yeah, multiple yeah. choice. Also this, if I would have had multiple choice to find multiple choice, I would have uh, identified it. But... <laughs> So uh, it's, uh, I've become worse than episode one, I think. Yeah. I don't know how I've managed that, but I haven't, almost haven't Do you talked, think so. the Survivor people are, are watching? Oh, probably not. And if they are, they just canceled me. Yeah, they say, oh, we were considering him, but not anymore. Do you think, because we've, like, uh, since we've done, uh, well, you've done uh, 18 of these, and I've been your guest on like one or two of them. Uh, and, <laughs> yes. Do you think, like, and every, like, uh, on average, you get like 40,000 views. So do you think, do you think uh, the Survivor people heard about the podcast? Mm, if they, uh, they watched my audition video and they saw the description in the email that I joined, they are aware of it. Okay. I don't know if they took the time to see what it's all about, but... <laughs> Uh, I think they just uh, watched my video, I hope, but I, I, I have no news. But uh, Survivor is uh, now uh, on hold because of the COVID, because okay. they are... Uh, uh, leur tournage... They're, the filming? They're the, filming. Yeah. Uh, is in the Fiji Islands, and, uh, for, and they have a crew coming from uh, all over the world, so they have to... Uh, they, There is the crew no, isn't, they, they don't hire like Americans that go to the No, Fijian. there are lots of locals and uh, people from Australia and all over the world because I think it's less expensive. I don't know why. But um, so there's not going to be a, a, an edition of Survivor in the fall. Okay. It's going to be in the... So do you the, think that's why you haven't got, gotten a call yet? Maybe, I hope. When did you send the audition tape though? Um, the last time was like probably uh, February. Okay, yeah, so a month before... Uh, yeah, and I know, so I know that the uh, even production stopped doing uh, work on the show because of pandemic. Yeah, because it started in, in Asia in uh, December. So do you think yeah. they knew that it was going to be real bad? I don't know, but... Uh, I think the uh, I saw on Twitter that um, the uh, the best uh, time to send the audition was in August. So okay. I'm going to resend it this August. This August. The like. same tape or yeah, gonna... I think it's going to is the my my second uh, version of the, fir, the the second version of the first version. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> yes. So I'm going to send it back just in case they haven't seen it because. Maybe it was like uh, uh, perdu dans pile. Okay. Lost in the lost in the pile. <laughs> when do you think they're gonna? Because since it's Survivor, wouldn't having COVID? Can be... I have uh, just one moment? Can Gabby TB or someone bring me like uh, my drink eventually, but uh, preferably water if uh, if the. Do you want water? Or do you want vodka and water and like uh, juice? Uh, yeah, I told my uh, my command. 
My order. <laughs> you, you told your command. Your command. It makes it sound like you're going to war. Yeah, I'm going like, to like war. Like you asked the Gabi general. Gabi TB is an adversary for me. <laughs> <laughs> is that why he's not here tonight? Is that what? He's not here. Oh, tonight? he's not here. Yeah, yeah, because I. Because you're uh, at war with him. Yeah, because I. Uh, I. Uh, <laughs> You I threatened him. I threaten him. <laughs> if you're there tonight, I'll kill you. You're a dead man. <laughs> That's good. That's very. And uh, how the, did the podcast go just before? I went. It went well. It went really yeah, well. Yeah, you had uh, someone who was there for the uh, first time, Josiane yeah, Aubuchon. Josiane, it was her first time, and Martin Perizolo, who's been a bunch of times, and it was fun. I, is, are you trying to replace me uh, with the Perizolo for Les Vous Écoutes? I'm going to do those with uh, Josiane. Oh, okay. Yeah. So she was a yeah. hit. Yeah, yeah. It went really well. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you're not really attached to me that no, much. As soon as the pandemic's over, we're going to go to New York City together. Okay. So yeah. it's going to be uh, um, Mike and Josiane Vous Écoutes. No, Josiane and Mike Vous Écoutes. Oh, because she's yeah. more important than yeah, you she's also? she's more important than me. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be uh, also her podcast. You're going to be like... Uh, like uh, a sidekick. <laughs> a sidekick. <laughs> okay. So... Um, Who here is familiar with uh, my homework? Yes. But uh, just to uh, to uh, put you in a context. Yeah, this is weird because we haven't done one of these in like four months. Yes. Where so and I didn't even remember that uh, what what homework you had because every week you, you you do homework. Yeah. And the last homework was it was Arnaud Soli that yes. gave you homework. Yeah. You gave me one. You gave me. Uh, 900 reasons why I like Drummondville. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and I thank you for that. Okay. But I knew that you'd but, have four months, though, so you have plenty of time. Yeah, but then we argued, because I argued a little. I said, can we shrink it to 90? You said no. And then it went f from that to I stole a taxi from my uncle. So it's going to be in the next episode. Okay. But this episode, it was Arno who gave me uh, the, the theme. And the theme... The, the, the theme. The okay. theme of the... Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. The theme uh, of the homework. I thought you meant like team, like a, a sports oh, no. team. Yeah, the, the, the St. Louis Cardinals. Okay, yeah. No. That joke, that joke uh, bombed. Yeah. <laughs> But it's okay. There's going to be lots of that tonight. But uh, so uh, his, uh, his homework was... What is funny about camping? Okay. So it's like uh, three pages, uh, three great pages okay. might I had. So is everyone ready? Are you, do you ready? Want, do you want your drink first? Oh, if or? I have a, like a water, it would be fun. Just because I'm about oh, perfect. to... Uh, thank and you. And plus your drink with a... With a little orange juice. What is... Uh, I, I forgot your name. It's Bass. Bass. Yeah. So does he have? A, do you want to uh, give him a nickname like Gabi? Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> It was so simple. <laughs> What a shitty nickname to give to someone. <laughs> That's the worst fucking nickname. I I think it's somehow it's the best though. Okay, so I'm I'm go I'm gonna go now. Or maybe, okay. like, since Gabi Tibi is a region, maybe he could be Bastin. <laughs> Bastin. It sounds like someone from Boston saying the word Boston. Oh, okay. Bastin. I thought, I thought, I thought he was Bastin. like a, a, a mix. Uh, I'm not going to pronounce my sentence because it's too complicated and I don't even know. What was the mix? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I, found, uh, I found something like, uh, no, it, <laughs> let's start. Temiskaming Bast I don't know. <laughs> Let's move on, I think. But uh, I'm sorry. It could be uh Gabi Tibi Bastamang. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, going yeah, somewhere yeah. now. That kind of works. But uh, where uh, where is the bastard from? Uh he's from Montreal. He's from Montreal. Yeah. So Bassmont? Yeah. No. Ba Bassmont. Bass Bastreal? Yeah. Bastard. Yeah, bastard is better. <laughs> yeah, bastard. bastard is the best. Il va, il va dealer avec ça. Oh. Bon. <laughs> il va dealer avec ça. <laughs> okay. So, what is funny about camping? 
First and foremost, let me say uh, that for me, there is nothing funny about camping. <laughs> Especially these days where camping has become the only way to have a decent vacation and for vacation and for a lot of, of Quebecers, the most decent vacation seems to be go to Gaspésie and leave garbage every fucking where. <laughs> <laughs> so no, Arnaud Soli, I don't think camping is funny. <laughs> For me, camping is as funny for an activity as Schindler's List is funny for a movie. <laughs> Now, uh, Mike, I hear you say, well, there are a couple of uh, scenes in Schindler's List that are kind of hilarious. <laughs> I know, but you have very unique comedy criteria, Mike. <laughs> like I remember three, three years ago, I had uh, what they call in French, la bactérie mangeuse de chair. <laughs> and, I called, and I called to tell you, uh, Mike, bad news, I have a big knee infection. I will probably uh, become an amputee. And you replied uh, super quickly, uh, how is that bad news? <laughs> <laughs> I said, because I will probably become an amputee, and you said, the only bad news in that, in that sentence is the word probably. <laughs> you added, uh, when will they know for sure? And can I be added in the email group? <laughs> I said, no, you can't. It's doctors and me in the email group. You said, I'm sure there is a doctor named Mike Ward in Quebec. They won't notice anything strange. I said, really? You think there are a lot of doctors in Quebec with the email mikeward at donkeymedia.ca? And you said, only the best one. <laughs> Thanks for giving my email. Yeah, to yeah. No, I, yeah. I said, <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> Just small parenthesis, yeah. because you said that, but uh, don't write at this address. It's not his real email. It was just better for the joke. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's move back to the topic. I'm not a good camper, but if I want to play Survivor someday, I should get accustomed to it and get better at it because Survivor is sort of a big camping trip, but without a tent and without, like they say in French, une gamelle. <laughs> what is gamelle in English? I don't even know what a gamelle is. Oh, uh, <laughs> It's like a... Okay, let's move on. What is a gamelle? I'm not sure. Okay. I, just, I, just, I, just, I just like the word, but I remember it's something from camping, but I think it's like a little uh, a kit where uh, like, uh, you can cook and there's like a fork. Maybe not. Like a, a Swiss army knife? No, uh, it's more complex. People at home, Google gamelle and, uh, and learn. Is it like a frying pan? I'm not sure. Okay. Even if you ask 20 questions, yeah. I'm not going to be more sure. Okay. <laughs> so uh, here are the two things that I find the most unfunny about camping. Uh, one, when you are building your tent and it starts to rain. You know what I say when that happens? Tough luck. But sometimes I let go from my tongue a, like they say in French, call is the tabernacle. <laughs> The call in, the bin, the bon bin. <laughs> And then I bully Dame Nature, Mother Nature. Why the rain now, Mother Nature? Why you chose this moment? You had to take a leak and you chose my tent as a urinal? Why not pee on Mike Ward's tour bus? <laughs> He deserves it. <laughs> for wishing I become an amputee. <laughs> he, he once said to me, Jean-Thomas, if you lose a leg someday, you will be the Terry Fox of comedy. <laughs> Except you won't have his curly hair, you won't have his resiliency, and you won't have even 1% of his courage. Mm -hmm. I said, uh, what, uh, what will we have in common then? He said, two amputees. <laughs> 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 so... so And now I'm talking to, uh, to Mother Nature. So, <laughs> but I have to uh, grab my paper. Um, 
So that's why you should pee on his tour bus. Uh, which makes me think of this joke. You know how we should call a guy who gets his penis cut for medical reasons? An amputee pee. An amputee pee. <laughs> he is ampute from peeing. So ampute pee. <laughs> an amp <laughs> an amp Just to be sure if it's clear, an amputee He's ampute from peeing, so amputee <laughs> Oh, it's now raining harder. Why? You are peeing more because you don't like my joke? It's a very great joke, but yet you respond by peeing even more on my tent. Bad mother nature you are. I should even say prostitute for squirting all over my tent. <laughs> the second thing not funny about camping, when you burn a marshmallow and the marshmallow falls in the fire, because like they say in French, tu l'as mal piqué sur ta petite branche. <laughs> so, so you try to pick up the marshmallow and you burn your fingers severely. Severely? Severely? Severely. Then your friend Mike Ward, who's there with you around the fire, starts to laugh hysterically, of course, and says, oh, I got unlucky when your leg turned out to be okay, but that finger could be my big break. <laughs> Redemption, my lucky charm, my cereal for children. Lucky charm. <laughs> okay. Then he adds, unlucky in love, lucky in friends losing body parts, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> I said, unlucky in love. That's not very nice for Marie Chantal. He replied, oh no, she's very aware that between her threatening to leave me or a good friend becoming an amputee, in a heartbeat, I would tell her, oh, Marie Chantal, it's been real. <laughs> Merci de la rire, parce que je la trouvais crissement bonne, hein? <laughs> I'll miss you, but... Uh, I, uh, still you speaking. Okay. I'll miss you, Marie, but uh, I know that I'll have so much joy in my life making videos of my friends struggling with his new handicap. At the airport, I'll go, Mike, can you help me carrying my luggage, please? I can't. Haven't you heard the recent COVID rule? People with diabetes can't no longer carry suitcases or purses. I'll say, so if Marie Chantal asks you to carry her purse, you'll say no? Mike would reply, why would I carry her purse? We are no longer a couple. I chose my amputee friend. Chris, c'est de moins en moins bon, ce petit texte-là. Est-ce que tu en train de crasher, Tata? <laughs> uh, so I chose my amputee friend I'll say so I basically charmed you with my middle finger uh, when my finger well, when my middle finger got removed and he responds oh no you charmed me with your ampute pee joke <laughs> it was great I'm a comedy geek and that joke should be teached by Steve Martin in his master class <laughs> a guy who gets his penis removed is an amputee pee. Brilliant. <laughs> and it starts raining again. Prostitute. Mother nature is a prostitute. Ah, c'est fini, là. Quel fun. Très bizarre. Uh, I'm rusty in homework also. Yeah. But uh, there were some good segments. And, I like uh, that in your thing, only prostitutes are able to squirt. No, but uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's not true. I don't think so. <laughs> no, I know. I'd, I'd have to go. No, no, I just, uh, I don't know why. Uh, I think it was because of the, I, 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 I was looking for a way to include squirt. Okay. And I decided to take a prostitute because okay. I wanted to uh, say to my mother nature, prostitute. Do you want to try it? <laughs> prostitute. Did you like it? I did. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to do it like alone at home? I will. I'll yell at the sky. <laughs> <laughs> so when the... the, the and the then it'll rain and I'll open my mouth. <laughs> 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 but 
uh, so I, I, I'm, going, I'm giving you one homework. Okay. And I, I want the homework to last for one year. Okay. And I want you to never explain it to Marie. And the homework is just every time you're outside and it starts raining, I want you to look at the sky and yell prostitute super loud three times. And if Marie says, what are you doing? Just say nothing. Okay. One even, year. Even if she's like, uh, even if like my mother-in-law's there? <laughs> uh, if you're uncomfortable, you, you can do it uh, only with Marie there. I think it's even there. funnier since my mother-in-law is Jehovah's Witness. Yes. There's something funny about calling this guy a prostitute <laughs> in front of my religious mother-in-law. But do you think it would get you in trouble with her? No. Okay, so okay. Yeah. So even if she's there then. <laughs> and then if she's there and looks at me, I'll just go, on parle business. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe uh, it's uh, after uh, your mother-in-law leaves that uh, Marie Chantal will, have, will want to have a talk with you. You think? But if she senses, by, by, well, yeah. well, uh, if she senses that uh, her, her mother was like uh, um, offusquée. Vexed. Vexed. Vexed is a word. Yeah, vexed is a word. Vexed. She, yeah. she was, if she was vexed, maybe yeah. she will want to do a follow-up. Okay. Yeah, I don't think so, though. No? I think she'll just be like, what the... I think she'll tell me to stop drinking. But even I think like she'll it's think it's 11 it's in the morning. A, yeah, but yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> or she'll be like, you should start drinking later. <laughs> yeah. So why are you drinking water? Mm, I don't know. Because I wanted to refresh uh, my mouth. Okay. But now I'm going to refresh it with vodka and orange juice. Okay. Is it just uh, it's water and orange juice and vodka? I, I, I think that's what I ordered to bastard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what would be funny if Bass didn't hear when you asked uh, what nickname should we give him? And he's just standing there going, why is Jean Thomas calling me a bastard? <laughs> I've always been super polite, very, very nice to him. And then he comes here and he calls me a bastard. <laughs> yeah, but... At least it's it, just bastard. It's not because generally, like an insult would be fucking bastard or goddamn bastard. Yeah. Now it's just bastard. It sounds like a yeah. t term of uh, endearment. Yeah, because a bastard is when you don't know your father, right? Uh, don't ask me that. Yeah. No, uh, uh, bâtard is you don't you don't know oh, your okay. father. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. it's yeah. Because I had there was a kid on my street that he didn't know his father, and his nickname used to be bâtard. Well, we uh, and looking back at the, it, that's, were you the one who decided that? No, no, no. But I, like, <laughs> I didn't even know what a what a batal was. But I'd call him that, and then my brother told me what it was, and I was like, "That's isn't that shitty?" For and then he was like, "Yeah," and then but we still kept on calling him that. But maybe your when your uh, brother told you that it was to make you realize that it was a bad word. No, I, no, it was just uh, he, he went. I, I was just curious. So your brother never, uh, never uh, tried to correct dis me? dissuade you. Dissuade no. is that a word? No. Yeah, yeah, it is a word. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he never tried to tell me not to call him a bastard. But uh, I, I mean, in general, did he sometimes try to dissuade you to do something bad or say something bad? No. Is that you should have, maybe. Yeah, because my brother, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 like my brother when, when. Uh, Because uh, when my mom had me, my brother was uh, four and a half years old. Yeah. And all of the pictures of me as a baby is my brother crying because he was jealous that people were, were uh, like talking to me instead of talking to him. Because you know how people are. If there's a baby, they'll, yeah. they'll go see the baby. He becomes a he star. He was super jealous that he had okay. been like, he had been the fucking hot shit for four and a, four and a half years. And now he was fucking, he was a... Uh, He had this piece of garbage to compete yeah. <laughs> with. So when we were little, he was very almost competitive with me. Okay. Yeah. But that has changed totally now. Yeah, yeah. Now, now we're good friends. We're And good uh, friends. just uh, if people here don't know, um, 
his friend, uh, his brother was in one episode earlier. Yeah, what like, episode? Uh, Do you remember? I think it was episode. I don't remember. Because my but, brother, uh, my brother, he he, like we told him to. We we're like, Do you want us? Because uh, he has like a real job. Yeah. And we're like An airplane pilot. Yeah. yeah. And we're like, uh, Do you want us to not like to edit some stuff out? And he was like, No, it's okay. Yeah, and it was said like uh, some trashy things, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. but he was just... But he was really happy and he sent it to all his friends that yeah. he works with. And he was uh, playing along all, yeah, all, all yeah. the way through. Yeah, and then he lost his job and they blamed it on COVID. <laughs> <laughs> but he but, lost his job because of COVID in January, which but is did weird. He, did he really lose his job? No, 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 okay. he didn't lose his job. I felt no. bad. No, he kept his job, but they, 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 he's but not was flying on... as much because, you know, yeah. no, who goes flying places? But... Uh, because but WestJet uh, are doing a lot of um, uh, national flights. Yeah, uh, the so the thing that I thought was really cool that WestJet did, and it's not WestJet, it's employees. Uh, they they all took a pay cut so that less people would get fired. Oh, that's good. Because at first they were going to fire like I think ninety percent of the people, and then the employees accepted to get a uh, half their salary to keep twice as many employees. Oh. That's nice. Which which is cool of the employees and shitty of the bosses. Yeah. But, you know. And she she's gone. She's the, gone. The, the, she, she was she, like, she was you're a, not going to insult the WestJet bosses. Yeah, she, maybe she's the daughter of the yeah. West the WestJet yeah. boss. <laughs> it's maybe maybe her family name is a WestJet. Yeah. Yeah. So what Karine Westjet? That, her her name is Naomi, <laughs> but maybe it's Naomi Westjet. Oh, Naomi Westjet. That'd West be <laughs> what a what a fucking weird last name. Yeah. Maybe we should impose it yeah. to her when she comes back. Is she the daughter of Chantal? No. I wish. She wishes, but she said it with like yeah, sexual she, desire. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> 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 it's almost like she wants to breastfeed her. Yeah. <laughs> What did you say, Chantal? Okay, okay. Maybe you, you don't want to have sex with her. Okay. I just want to be sure. For me, it's important to clarify those things. You'd be a bad nurse. Because <laughs> every time a woman would deliver a baby and she'd go, I'm so happy to have this child. <laughs> Are you going to fuck it? <laughs> you going to try to fuck that kid? <laughs> no? <laughs> you better not fuck that kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good joke. But, um, yeah. Um, and the, what have you been up to? No, no. Um, I, I prepared some, uh, because uh, here we're doing some improv sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. And, uh, I haven't done, well, it, uh, where would I have done improv? Like I was going to say, I haven't done any improv, but, but I never did improv in my life except for on this podcast. Yeah, but and, in uh, general, podcasts are sort of improv. Everything also. is written. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I have uh, André de Charme in my ear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, but he was always talking about fucking people cooking stuff. Cause so he, when yeah. I see, a, 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 when I, 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 I draw a blank... Uh, why doesn't André talk to me also? He only talks to me. Okay, yeah. but you are more like a competent in English and in comedy in general. Yeah, so but because I, I need because of André. It's oh, all okay. André, yeah. So basically all your success is because of André. I have Richard. no talent at, at all. all. It's just I okay. don't even speak English. <laughs> no, okay. You're just, just André, repeating. André is just, he makes sounds and I repeat them. Okay, but yeah. is it because he likes the sound of your voice that goes a bit uh, dans les aigus? Yeah, he likes my, my lady man voice. <laughs> But uh, can, you, uh, can you ask him if he uh, can help me, help me out when I, I draw a blank with a word? Wait a second, he's talking about you. Okay. He doesn't like you. Oh, he doesn't like no. me. Oh, that's he didn't appreciate the, the, the ampu uh, TP Amp joke. <laughs> <laughs> But you did like it, though. I did like it. Yeah. I did like Oh, wait. Oh. Bruno Landry liked that joke, though. <laughs> <laughs> Bruno said it's the best joke he's heard. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, fuck, Bruno said he's going to use it on Riri Delay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That if uh, someone from, let's say, uh, Great Britain listens to the po this podcast... You They're going to love the Bruno Landry references. <laughs> yeah. And the Riri Delay also. I love that this podcast is... 
Like it's uh, the description that, that you sent uh, Laurence for the, the podcast. You wrote it's bilingual, but it's a hundred percent English, yeah. but for a hundred percent francophone audience. Yes. Like anyone that doesn't speak French doesn't understand anything. <laughs> yeah, all of the right. references are fucking TV on Nouvelle yeah. and, <laughs> and Denis, Denis Lévesque. And fucking, yeah, that's why the yeah. uh, the the. Uh, The, uh, the, the, the public sim, <laughs> the, public the audience sim. is na narrowed <laughs> like in an entrenoir. Yeah. It's all English people from Trois Rivières <laughs> yes. that can listen to the show. What We is entrenoir in English? Entrenoir is a funnel. A funnel? Funnel. Uh, like you fun, F U N N E L. Okay, funnel. funnel. Like a tunnel, but with an It's F. like a, a tunnel, but fun. <laughs> okay. Like a funnel. <laughs> Great that's teacher. a nickname that I, uh, that's what I call Marie's vagina. <laughs> It's it's a funnel. Ah, c'est des caves. Mais but charming. Uh, so, um, can I, I get? I, 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 I want another drink can from you, Bastard. Yeah, can you ask Bastard for another drink? <laughs> Bastard is mad. He's not going <laughs> to deliver you any drink. <laughs> Maybe Bastard is super mad right now. And <laughs> he's going to fight us after. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he knows jujitsu and we're in he's trouble. Not, he's not even the waiter. He's the no. manager here. So he helps out and yeah, we're he's bullying He's the manager, him. but he's helping out. To, he's waiting tonight. <laughs> and we thank him by calling him Bastard. Yeah. I think it's well deserved. Good thing, yeah. At least Bass and Bastard sounds the same. Yeah. It's not like his nickname is Fuckface. No. <laughs> that'd be, that'd Do you want to switch it? <laughs> <laughs> Fuckface is the best nickname for someone. That'd be amazing if, if someone in a group, if everyone had a fun, like, funny nickname, like, you're like, this is Rusty. <laughs> Rusty, <laughs> this is Steve-O, this is a big gym, and that's Fuckface. <laughs> <laughs> That makes me think, uh, I bought, uh, like, uh, I went to a t-shirt time and I bought, like, a couple of shirts of this. Dunder Mifflin, yeah. Yeah, and I bought another one that I, I was happy at the store because I thought, ah, it's sort of funny. It's a... But then I, I arrived home and I said, bad choice. And What it was, was it? It was, uh, like, the word it. Okay. And there's, like, a little, oh, uh, yes. little guy who fucks the word it, so fuck it, you know? Okay. Yeah. So uh, I, bought a, I bought a T-shirt that I really liked, and I wore once, and someone told me it was homophobic. It was a, it was a T-shirt just written straight, but with the uh, the gay the, pride colors. Okay. And then someone told me they were like, "That's homophobic," and I was like, "That's not homophobic. It's uh, just written straight." But uh, did but, you uh, ask others, and uh, did they confirm? No, I it just was had one person tell me it was homophobic, and it was a little tight too. So I gave it to uh, one of my friends, okay. and he wore it. And then people called him homophobic, and then he <laughs> called them fags. And <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it, it wasn't. It's not the uh, gay pride colors. It's written straight, and it's a it's a, a rainbow. But black and white, or like black, white, gray. Okay, that's not homophobic. That's not homophobic. But people see, uh, people see hate in everything. Now. Yeah, that's true. And that's not hateful. It's just a stupid T-shirt. And do you see hate uh, when you look at my face? I don't see hate no? when I look at your face. Do no. you see nine and ten? Eight, nine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to have a standing yeah, ovation yeah. for this uh, at the end of the show. And, uh, Because of that joke, now I really do want you to lose one of your legs. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to become an ampute pee? Yeah. <laughs> lose my penis? <laughs> okay. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, just for people who haven't watched or uh, listened to uh, the podcast, so... Um, I give a team uh, for the improvisation. A theme. A theme. Yeah, because you keep saying team. Team. Yeah. Yeah, a theme. Yeah, a theme. I struggle with yeah. my H and my my the and my my H. <laughs> so, 
And uh, so I have five here. And, I'd be uh, a really shitty teacher because whenever I correct you, I not only correct you, but I judge you. Yeah, but you, you, you. So I feel like a dick every time I tell you it's on a team. <laughs> yeah, but the, the, in this podcast, I realized that I think when I was at uh, episode number 70, I, I had made good progress yeah, because you were at we, your, your best. We made like consecutively a lot of podcasts, but since there was a pause, Now I am starting from scratch, it seems. But I think it's gonna, I'm gonna catch up, but the words Episode just don't 30, come. Episode 30, up to, like, when, when, once we'll hit 30. Like, if we start doing these every two weeks, then you'll, uh, episode 30, you'll be back up to, like... You think? Good, and then 50, you'll be amazing, and then we should do a Spanish one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, what's root in Spanish? Like, uh, like, uh, en route, en route to Survivor. I have absolutely no idea. But I, this time I, I'm happy that I said idea because the first yeah, four podcasts you say I said ID. ID. Yeah. And uh, one thing that we did different this week, generally we'd start every episode with um, Chuck that it'd say words that you mispronounced. Yes, every but episode since, start, since there was four months... He, he you don't, you don't think he remembered? You don't think he had a little list? <laughs> uh, it could be his style. But uh, I imagine Chuck at home. I don't know if he has he, a microphone right now. I do. I do right now. Yeah. Maybe that's why, because he, he moved. Because I picture him in his, in his apartment writing down words that you mispronounced <laughs> on the wall. To humiliate me. To humiliate you, but then he moved in July. So, so he's he lost. Like, Fuck, I forgot those words. <laughs> that might be it. Is, it. is that it? Well, I uh, yes, I'm a psychopath, and I have all those you know words on those wall for all those months so yeah i uh so maybe remember, for the, yeah. the episode number 19. he writes those words and he jerks off at the same time <laughs> <Yes. laughs> i do <laughs> okay <laughs> so maybe for episode number 19 you can bring uh all the words that i botched for episode 1 to 18. it will be my pleasure i will archive i know you'll be a pleasure because you're gonna masturbate yes <laughs> <laughs> That's why he doesn't like Pornhub, because there's not the category jean fucking up English words. <laughs> And he's like, how do they expect us to masturbate? <laughs> I could, it's uh, just people fucking. It's, <laughs> it's very vulgar. <laughs> so I could just send him audio uh, messages on, uh, yeah. by text and say, hello, Chalk. How are you? You look nice gentleman. And since I, I botched the syllables, it would go super quickie. Was that an accent <laughs> you were doing? <laughs> no, no, no. But, well, were you doing an accent? Was that like no, a I was British accent? To, I was trying to botch the syllables, of, uh, in, but I, I just sounded like, uh, like someone from uh, New Zealand. Yeah. Oh shit! I thought it was British, but you're from New Zealand. Oh yes. Yeah. I. I. Uh, oh, I'm not gonna. You're very. In <laughs> no, I was. Uh, what is the movie uh, from New Zealand that won a, uh, where there was like a a, 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 a tribe that were super uh, not nice with women? It was a weekend at Bernie's. <laughs> no, it was not that. The tribe that wasn't nice with women. Uh, it was like a, a movie that won uh, prizes like in 1996. Like Braveheart? No, Braveheart? no, no, no. It's the movie with no actors we know. Uh, no actors we Is know. Is it a famous movie or it's just yes, a movie? Yes, it, it, it was famous at the time because it won prizes. But uh, it was like a very uh, ar ar aboriginal uh, people in the movie and uh, it was uh, the 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 subject of the movie was a uh, woman who get beaten up by their their tribe males not tribe mate tribe ah, mate what a weird movie no but it was so like it's it's fucking pour, tribal uh, uh, people uh, beating the, up their wives it was to denounce a cause social in new zealand it was to denounce a social cause in new zealand okay <laughs> But no one uh, What here... award did it win? Did it win like an Oscar or won? Uh, uh, I, I think it was in competition for uh, best movie of the year, but I, I'm but not sure. Like it... At, well, was it at the Oscars or was it like a UFC thing? It was <laughs> like best punch. <laughs> I think it was at the Oscars. But maybe someone can Google it and find the name. I would, if I had 
multiple choice I would identify. So, <laughs> hey uh, Siri, what's a movie from New Zealand in 1996 uh, about uh, women getting beaten up by their <laughs> tribal <laughs> members? This on the web for what's the most from New Zealand in 1996 about women getting beat now. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure 1996, but but say it again. Say say that again, but without 1996. All right, all right. <laughs> hey Siri, what movie from New Zealand was nominated for an Oscar in the 90s? Sorry, I can't search what something is about but I can search by title, actors or directors, and categories like horror or action. I like that she fucking doesn't know, but she, instead of telling me I don't know, she explains what she could do. Yeah. <laughs> Tell her fuck you. Yeah, if, if, I was a, if we were both uh, Aborigines, I, I'd punch Siri in the back <laughs> of the head, and then I'd win a Golden Globe. <laughs> but uh, uh, what is, uh, try, try to say... Uh, uh, just say, Siri, thanks, but fuck you. Just see what she's going to say. Hey, Siri. You're a stupid bitch. <laughs> oh, she, she just wrote, that's not nice, but she didn't even say it. <laughs> hey, Siri. <laughs> what do you think of Janta Majabe? <laughs> She d she's not, uh, she doesn't even talk anymore. She I scared Siri. <laughs> you silenced her. Yeah. Hey Siri, can you uh, speak please? She wrote, I'm not sure I understand. <laughs> God damn. I fucking scared the voice out of, out of Siri. Yeah. I bullied Siri into silence. <laughs> yeah. That's a new one for you. Yeah, yeah, I bullied. That's the first time I bully someone and make them speechless. That's crazy. No, because the one time uh, you hurt me and I remember I went silent for like six years. Really? Yeah. When, uh, what, when was that? From 1996 <laughs> to so 2002. That's why I never heard about that movie. You wanted to tell me about the movie, but yeah, you couldn't speak. I, yeah. I have the, a movie to tell you about, and you, you bullied me, and I just went blank for six years, and I became a comedian after. Okay. As a way to protest against you. All my career is me protesting against you. So your bit, uh, your first bit... Uh, Qu'est-ce qu'un restaurant, qu qu restaurant was, was just, I hate my work. Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah. The I subtext got, was clear for me. I think everyone got that, though. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I think you'd have to be stupid not to realize that's what you were trying to say. When I was uh, explaining, like, uh, the degree of appetites, that meant you hurt me, Mike, back in the day. <laughs> Quoi ça, ça me fait Chris m'en rire. Puis j'ai eu deux rires et demi. Mais deux... And then, and, and out of those two and a half laughs, one and a half was from you. Gentlemen, so I think we found the movie that you were talking about. Oh, oh shit. Was, yes, we... it was called Once Were Warriors. Yes, exactly. And it's a movie from 1994. That's Once why we didn't find it. Once Were Warriors? Once were warriors. Once were warriors. Once so, were warriors. It's, a, it's a collaboration between Quebec and uh, New Zealand. And between it was, Quebec and New Zealand? Yes. It was what a, the fuck? How does was, Quebec... That means the producer... Like, uh, it, oh, no, it was not. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. It was just okay. because the, 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 the title in French in Quebec okay, was okay. Nous étions guerriers, which is the, oh, the, that, the title that in means French. like... Because at first I was like, that means there's a producer in New Zealand that was like, I need money to do this. I'll ask, okay, New Zealand's not working. I'll try Australia. Okay, that's not working. We'll go to Africa. Uh, find a couple of uh, South Africa. Okay, that's not working. Okay, maybe China. No, that's not working. England. No, and then they're like, okay, Manitoba. Can we? <laughs> Look. <laughs> the fuck Manitoba didn't work. But what is the, the, the synopsis of the movie? Yes, I can read it to you. Just a little sec. Uh, is the Rotten Tomatoes ranking good? Uh, I think it is. I'll just uh, check for that. Once we're warriors. Are you going to listen to it this, this week? I'm, I'm probably going to watch it uh, for the next, uh, the, the end of the podcast. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. 
While, while you're reading your shit, I'm just going to watch. But I, I don't have any homework anymore. Okay. But you, uh, so, 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 yeah. Uh, so the plot is, uh, this, fi- uh, the film tells the story of X, an urban Maori family and their problems with poverty, alcoholism, and domestic violence, mostly brought on the, the so patriarchal So it's a story Jake. of, of uh, Eric Lapointe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 and I'll uh, look for the Rotten That tomatoes. joke is a collaboration, uh, Quebec and New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> you needed both to make that joke. And work. it's uh, 93% on Rotten Tomatoes. 93, wow. that's good. And is it on Netflix or Amazon uh, Prime? Or? I'm trying to look right now. I don't see it, but uh, probably. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah it's, I think it's on Netflix, yeah. Okay. I think it, that means he has no clue. I have no clue, yeah. Because whenever someone goes, yes, yeah, I, I think it's on Netflix. And I, 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 I noticed Did you that. see? You saw that movie though? Yeah, it but was it, good? It, yeah, it was very good. But it, it was 1994, so it was like 26 years ago. Because I'm, but it's a movie, a story like that ages well. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It, it's not like whenever you watch movies from the 90s that if they're like computer programmers and you watch it now, you're like, that's not even a, that's a fucking typewriter and a TV. Like it doesn't work, but. If it's if it's you know domestic violence that doesn't change. No. Sadly. Yeah. It doesn't no, change. Yeah, yeah. Sadly. I remember that. I, I remember. I remember. I remember that I was at the le le, le club Video G. It was in Quebec. It's called Video G for real. Did, did you do you remember Video G? Uh, we didn't have a Video G in uh, Loreto. Okay, so uh, we had one in Saint Foy, right? M- uh, Monsieur Mobilo. Oh, <laughs> did you have Monsieur no. Mobilo? There was like uh, no, there was. Uh, I, I went at Video G. Oh, you worked at the Video no, G. No, I, I went when okay. I wanted to rent a movie. I, I was going to Video G. Okay. And I'm sure if someone. What was the G? Uh, the uh, the J for? I don't know. Maybe uh, I think because G is like uh, uh, I, I don't know. Gangster. Uh, no, but uh, er, no, because it's video J, right? J uh, en français. J, oui, J I uh, video J I. Uh. Okay. Video J. Okay, okay, yeah. Comme so G, one word. Video okay, G. I thought it was like video and then the 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 letter G, but no, it's no. video G, like type G. Yeah. What a shitty name. Yeah, it's not a good name for a fucking <laughs> video G. <laughs> it's not a good name. That means it's it's a that's a couple. That the the wife wanted a video store and the husband wanted a tebeji or vice versa. Yeah. And then they're like, let's combine. Oh, let's combine. <laughs> so we'll rent movies and sell cigarettes. Yeah, I, I think there was like a, a section with the, you can buy a bar, chocolate bars, but like I don't. It think would there have been was... amazing if it was a video store. That when you you go through those, remember those doors to go to the. The yeah. porn section. You go into the porn section, then you realize it's not the porn section. You're in a beer fridge. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, what? <laughs> so ah, you, go there and you go to jerk off. You're like, oh, je vais prendre une caisse de bradal. Okay, so you want bradal la plus que bière. Je me rappelle que c'était ça le. Fuck. What? That was, a f- that was the rich people beer from the... Bef- uh, like the 70s and 80s. Before yeah. Heineken was really popular here, or, uh, so Bradar showed that you were like, look, I'm fancy, my beer tastes the same as La Rancide, but there's gold. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't, uh, I, I remember that my dad was not a big beer drinker, but he had Carlsberg. Carlsberg, yeah. Carlsberg Car- was a good, was it considered a good beer? Or? I it was. I, I remember uh, my uncle used to drink Carlsberg, and it, it was that German or? Uh, I th- Carlsberg is or probably Swedish. Probably German. Yeah, probably German. Something to Google for yeah, Chuck. Yeah. Or, or I'll ask uh, Siri. I'm on it. Hey Siri, where is Carlsberg from? <laughs> it's Denmark. Denmark. Yeah. You see, she, she wanted to speak. But yeah, she you, wanted you, to speak. I cut her off. Yeah, that's why yeah. She, she wants to be silenced. Yeah. And I cut her off like I, I squeezed like, like, a, like a bossy off. boyfriend that yeah. grabs by the arm. I was like, you hey, choked sir. her. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So you want to try a, an improv? Sure. Okay. 
So, um, we are on the flight that takes me on Survivor. Okay. You are not a Survivor player. You are a regular passenger that is really afraid of flying. It's okay. your first time. You confine in me to reassure you. Okay. A confine, was that correct? Uh, uh, no. No? Uh, you, uh, you, I'm your go-to guy to get reassured. What, uh, what is the verb for that? Uh, I talk to you. <laughs> wow. No, uh, Very intellectual word. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But it's okay. Yeah, yeah. But uh, confined is means uh, is it se confie? Well, uh, yeah, yeah. I guess it is. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't really speak English. Andre <laughs> Andre Chaum just went to the bathroom. All I hear now is him. It's like water and him going. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and now he just said I know John Litfet. Oh, okay. Yeah. So he's, okay, he's so he gone. went to bed. He's gone now. He's gone. I got nothing. <laughs> okay. All right. So oh, he... I got Bruno now. Oh, okay. Bruno, you got Bruno. is helping me. Okay. Yeah. So is Bruno good at improv? He just made a funny noise. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I imagine. That would be amazing. I don't know why I picture, like, if André Duchamp can't... Uh, do uh, Tout le monde en parle one week and he gets uh, Bruno Landry. Yeah. But Bruno, every time he says something to get a page, he just uses that funny voice he does on <laughs> the <rire> de de <laughs> <laughs> I don't, yeah. Can yeah. you. Um, I, I can't I, do impressions. Yeah, me neither. So, um, so I. All right, so, so we're on a plane. Yeah. So we have to wear a mask, I guess, since we're on a plane? Uh, no. Okay, all right. Because it's your, it's your uh, brother who's uh, piloting, okay. so he gives us a pass. Okay, perfect. <laughs> perfect. All right. <laughs> okay. okay, so we're on a plane. And where are we going? Uh, me, I'm going like, on Fiji for okay. a Survivor, perfect. and you are going for You Decide. Okay, excellent. All right. So okay, let's say right. we, just, we just sat down. Okay, so did we take off yet? Yeah? Uh, I'm going to tell you uh, soon. Okay. So, uh, we're about to take off. Okay. <laughs> are, you, uh, are you... Are you going to Halifax? Uh, no, I'm going to... But I can't say it very loud because there is like a secrecy for the reason I'm going to Fiji. I'm going to play... Uh, You're going... What? I'm going to play Sur Survivor. Uh, so the reality show. The reality show. The reality but, show. This is, WestJet doesn't go to Fiji. Oh. <laughs> are you hijack? I think, are you hijacking the fucking plane? <laughs> uh, no, are, no, no. Are you going to murder us? No, I, I, I don't plan to. Okay. You seem like a genuine guy. Okay, good. So uh, you seem a bit nervous. I am nervous. I have uh, I've a guy in front of me that told me he's going to Fiji. <laughs> yes, on a but... flight from Montreal to Halifax. <laughs> <laughs> what does your ticket say? It says uh, Montreal to Fiji. Look, I have a big ticket. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, it's very, uh, they don't care about But the part that the... says Fiji is in your handwriting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's very... It's... <laughs> WestJet is very homemade. Oh, oh, WestJet is <laughs> shitty. Yeah. WestJet, goddamn, since COVID, they're letting just people write their tickets yeah, themselves? I, I just said uh, Montreal to Fiji from Yule to Fiji Airport. Is that the code for Fiji Airport? <laughs> yes. It's Fiji Airport? <laughs> yes. So YUL is Montreal and Fiji Airport is Fiji Airport? Yes. <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> yes. So, uh, um, so you're going to be on Survivor, yes, uh, with uh, the, the Jeff Probst, Bre Probst, yeah. Probst, yeah, yeah. is it Probst or Probst? Probst, 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 <laughs> Jeff Probst, yeah, is that uh, a, what, do you have a mental handicap? No, but Jeff Probst, because <laughs> I knew the there's a hockey player, Brendan Prost, but yeah, there's Brendan no Prost. Brendan Probst, no, but that's two different family names, uh, you think. They, they must know like each other? Tremblay, no? Tremblay or Boudria. Two different names. Are you sure? I don't, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Should we, I ask my phone? <laughs> yes. 
I'll just. I'll but just uh, not because I, I trust you, but just in case. Hey, Siri. Is uh, Tromley and Boudria the same name? <laughs> okay. I found this on the web for us. The Tremblay and Baudry have the same name. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, so it's the same name. Oh, it's, it's the same. same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So yeah. So I'm pretty sure uh, Brendan, Brendan, uh, uh, Brendan Prost, and uh, what, what's the other guy's name? Jeff Prop. Jeff Prop, same guy. Okay, or same family or same guy? So I think it's the same guy. Okay, so Marie-Pierre Morin went out with Jeff Probst. I think she, uh, she, she married uh, Brandon Prost and she bit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's my fault. Yeah. The, the subject uh, so, was my fault, but uh, yeah. yeah so, so you must be excited about uh, Yes, I'm on, very, very yeah. excited, but uh, yeah. Was it hard to get on that show? It looks easy uh, to get on that I, show. I sent uh, twice a first audition. Okay, so you, sent the, so you sent the audition and then they didn't take it and then you sent the exact same thing and yes. then they took you? Yeah, they said, oh, it was bad the first time, but uh, with a bit of... Uh, like they say in French, un peu de recul. Yeah. It's pretty good. How, how do you say un, un peu de recul? In, with uh, 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 with um, a uh, bit of backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trolling me? Is that, was that, I don't think that's it. Because you're, I, I'm you're, pretty you're sure smart. that's it. With a bit of backwards. With a bit of backwards. It sounds like backwards yeah. is like something when you rewind on a bit of max. Yeah. Is, no. that, is that really what it is? It could be. Because I think you're... I don't know if you, you seem think, nervous. I, I don't know if it's because of the flying. Yeah, I think... Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm nervous about the flight. <laughs> I seem very relaxed for a yes. guy. Can I tell you something? Yes. I just, uh, I just uh, took some uh, heroin. Oh. First time? First time. First time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. you're pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm fucking... I'm, I'm awesome. <laughs> yeah, but... But uh, do do you uh, do you think you are gonna uh, need another fix soon? I don't think because so. Because it's like seven hour flight. So if you take out your syringe during the flight, it's like awkward, no? I didn't. No, but uh, it's all. Uh, it's I. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't think ahead. It's, yeah. It's a seven hour flight. Yes. God damn it. And your your fix is gonna be finished in like. A, 15 minutes. They told me, yeah. They told me it would last for eight hours, and I took it seven hours ago. Okay, now it's going to be a very uh, boring end of flight for you, and okay. I don't care. Are you going <laughs> to... You don't care? I don't care about... Uh, I care about you, but uh, I, 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 I'm a bit intrigued with... Uh, you, how much do you care about me? Like, enough to... Uh, I care about you to, to, to reassure you if you're scared of the flying. Okay. But what I don't are you gonna do? Can you rub my my uh, feet? Uh, it's COVID, so we need two meters. But my my legs are long, so you can ra rub, rub, just rub my feet. Don't tempt me because I'm gonna do it, and okay. <laughs> you're gonna run away. <laughs> but uh, I but, can't. Uh, I can't run. You can't run. Well, are I'm you an amputee? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't want you to rub my feet anymore. <laughs> But uh, do you have lotion? If uh, let's say we we are uh, taking off and you get you're getting scared, do you have lotion for me to rub uh, to rub you? Or you want me to go dry? Can you spit? <laughs> <laughs> I can spit. Okay. Uh, I'm afraid I'm gonna miss you if I don't uh, spit uh, correctly. I'm gonna okay. spit like on your purse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, my purse. I do have a purse. <laughs> yeah. It's called a satchel. <laughs> but yeah. A what? A satchel. Uh, it's, a, it's a man bag. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I didn't, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that you know, word. It's Sorry. In my, uh, what's in my man bag? Yes. What is lotion. Oh, you have lotion? <laughs> it's all lotion. Do you have gloss? I have everything. They tell you you're not supposed to have more than... Uh, uh, a hundred milliliters of liquid. I have four hundred milliliters of liquid. Okay, so yeah, you, uh, you plus your error in. Yeah, the trick is you put liquid paper on the last zero. Oh. So then they look at it. it they, they go, "This uh, this looks like a hundred milliliters." You're like, "That's only 10. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
And you think you... Uh... I, I, I screwed the system. Okay. You're very yeah. bright, man. I am. I'm super smart. Yes. Very smart. If I was on Survivor, I'd win. But you're not. Tell, tell me you're not because I, I, I just opened up to you and uh, if... I might be. <laughs> <laughs> you might be. This might be one of the games on Survivor. Okay. And Pre I think pretend you're, you're not playing, but then we learn. Pretend you're not playing, you're... and then you're playing. Yeah. Okay. Because season, uh, this is season 41 now. Yeah. They don't have the money they used to, so they can't afford to send us to Fiji Islands. They just put us on a plane. Oh, the game started then. Yeah, the game started. Is that for immunity? It's exactly. Okay. So the, is the is the is the pilot Jeff Probst then? The Who's... pilot is uh, indeed uh, Jeff Probst. Okay. Yeah. This is going nowhere. This is going nowhere. <laughs> this is very long for this plane to take off. <laughs> yeah, but I, I think uh, this is a, a way for me to uh, create create a diversion for for you not to be stressed. Exactly. Oh, and Chip, we just landed. <laughs> this yes. is a, an amazing flight. In Halifax. We landed in Halifax. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to go see the water. Yeah, in Fiji, there's uh, more clear water than in Halifax. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying that Fiji is better than Halifax? Uh, no, I'm saying the water is clearer. Okay, but it's shittier than Halifax. You want to, you want to make a comparison between water? What's better, Fiji or Halifax? Because uh, Fiji water is more famous, but <laughs> Halifax water is fucking delicious. Okay. Yeah. Are you trying to uh, squeeze me with something here? No, I just... Uh, have you ever had uh, Halifax water? Probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what it tastes like? Delicious? It tastes like seaweed. <laughs> like what? Seaweed. Uh, seaweed is a... Uh, algae. I think. I think it's... Uh, no. It's yeah. algae. Yeah, but uh, uh, algae uh, alg is algae, but it's seaweed. Okay. I, yeah. I, I, I've just learned it's, that word. Okay, yeah. <laughs> is is this improv about to end? I uh, I think this improv ended seven minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, I think too. Yeah. So people should applause because it was a great yeah, spectacle. It was the right? best. I think it was the best yes. thing. We should. Uh... <laughs> okay, uh, next one. L'étoile du match. <laughs> <laughs> you are the doctor that makes me pass. Oh yeah, my there's another improv. Oh, okay. there's the four more okay, of them, okay. so we can decide uh, how much we want to do. But um, you are the doctor that makes me pass my medical to go on the show. Okay. But you are not a very professional doctor, so your medical questions are a bit random and confusing. Okay, I can do that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's say we start in three, two, one, and I get in your office. All right. How's it going? Hey. Perfect. Hello. You, uh... <laughs> well, well, uh, uh, uh well, I'm let's sorry, say, I can't... Let, let's say like, I, 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 I knock first. Yeah, okay. It's going to be great. You go, you want to see? Okay. Talk, talk, talk. Who is it? Uh, your patient. <laughs> well, uh, what's your name? Jean Thomas. Joubin. The guy from Survivor? No, not yet. The, the, the one of the candidates, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's true. I work for Survivor. Yeah. Okay, yeah, come on in. Okay. Klook, <laughs> schlook. That's the sound of a door, right? I think it was a great door right. sound. Uh, <clears throat> Why haven't you stood? You, you've just been sitting here, though. You never <laughs> stood up to open the door. Uh, yeah, but it was in my head. Okay, that's, perfect. That's, that's, the most important All right. Thing. So uh, you're here yeah. for uh, your medical? Are you going to invite me to sit down? Yes. Yeah, so do you want to sit? Yes. Thank okay, you. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Okay. So you're here for your medical exam? Yeah. Medical you're a doctor, test? right? Okay. So this is a test that's different from most tests. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to ask you uh, multiple choice of questions okay. about medicine. And if you get them right. About you... medicine? About medicine. About me or medicine in general? About medicine in general. Okay, but uh, how is that going to attest that I'm healthy? It's a, it's, a, it's a medical test. Okay. All right. <laughs> if, if someone has cancer, 
Okay. Uh, do you give them chemotherapy? Anison? A hug? Or herpes? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with A, chemotherapy. Are you, I'm going to know the answers uh, after the test is I'm done. I'm just fucking with you. This was just uh, this okay. was just uh, you know, break the ice. Cuz okay. I, I know people get nervous cuz okay. you're going to be on TV. I was not nervous at all. Yeah, all right. No, okay. So I just want to make you feel relaxed. So okay. if you want to just uh, take your pants off. Okay. I, uh, yeah. All right. Spluk spluk pleek. All right. Oh. Uh, that cock made a lot of noise. <laughs> God damn. That's a good cock. <laughs> you could feel the bend on the second cluck cluck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to, since uh, because of COVID, I can't, we, can't, we have to be at two meters apart. So you're going to have to hold your testicles and you're going to cough. So do you want to hold your testicles and cough? Okay. All right. Pluk, pluk, pluk. All right. So how did, how my, did it my, feel? My stomach hurts. Is it normal? But uh, the, you were squeezing too hard. Okay. Don't don't squeeze. You're, you're not supposed to crush. You don't crush the testicles. You hold them. You hold them. Okay. You hold them. Remember when you were little, and and you're I you're. Talk. Remember when you were little and you went camping with your uncle and he had the boat and he was like, hey, do you want to drive my boat? And yeah. you were like, yeah. And then he goes, but first you got to touch. Uh, and then like, like you used to do with your uncle. Just you fucking. You, okay, you, I'm going to grab you, it. You, yeah, but you don't firmly. grab it too hard. Yeah, just, yeah, just, 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 just a little. Just a yeah, little. And then you cough. Just so that and I cough. Just show them you're there. Okay, I'm going to cough in that direction. Yeah, but in, in, in your, you cough, cough in your cough <laughs> in your. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. I, I cannot speak cough, with my... Cough. Yeah, but just hold and, and cough. Yeah. Cough in your... Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Are, are you just my making fun of no, me? No, no. I just want you... You have to... It, look, it's fucking COVID. We, we have to... This is a new normal. This is a new normal. Okay. The old normal was okay. the problem. So but, you cough, but, but you got to hold I, your... I, can, I cannot hold the microphone. Why do, why do I have a microphone in the doctor office? <laughs> Because you brought it with you. Okay. So. So it was, it was a good? It was okay? It was like, uh, yeah. Did they go up and down or? It, my, my testicles, you mean? Yeah, your testicles. Or my, 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 my sperm. My, 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 my. my, my, no, can, my you feel, <laughs> can you feel your sperm move? <laughs> yes. Yes, like, uh, yes, my sperm is like uh, very uh, collé schmatty. Okay. Like this. <laughs> so you can feel them. So every time you come, you know exactly how many left? Yes. <laughs> so whenever you're having sex, you know. Do you tell the person you're with? Like, yeah, do you I tell still like the woman, you're like. Still more, still a gallon more. <laughs> you count them in gallons? <laughs> <laughs> How many ga look um I shouldn't I shouldn't ask you this but uh I'm, I'm since I'm not a obstetrician I don't know. How many gallons of sperm do you need to get someone pregnant? Uh you, you mean me or in general? In general. Uh I I would say like uh, one eighth of a gallon. One eighth of a gallon. Okay, so like a is that a pint? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay. That's a lot of sperm. That's why I don't have kids. Okay. But is your test finished? Because I, I said that it was... Uh, it, it was My test it, hasn't even started yet. Okay. But it was we'll, just, we'll, it's just to break the ice. Uh, again? I, I, I ask you a funny question about the cancer thing. We yeah, laugh but why at cancer. I touch my penis? Then you pull your pants down, you grab your penis, and then we laugh at that. And then uh, I get... Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, you, uh, did you bring a needle? Uh, no, I think it was your job to have uh, like the instruments. It's COVID. You got to bring your own needle. Okay, I didn't. So okay. what did, did you propose? Did you pee in something? Did you bring uh, yes. your pee? Okay. Yes, I peed in this. Okay. 
All right, take a sip. Okay. <laughs> Why? Take it. I just want to see if you if you take a sip. Okay. Am I like being naive here? No, 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 no. It's just that's a. All right. Why they are ice cubes? I think you're cold. So how did, did, it was okay? Yeah, it tastes not bad. Okay, perfect. So you passed the test. Okay. That was a test to get on Survivor. What? Just, you survived. See, if we if we were on an island and we like we're freaking out, I don't have anything to drink. You thought outside the box and you drank your own piss. Okay, but yeah. okay. So uh, you're gonna give me my check mark so I can go. Can I tell you something? You were like. <laughs> Relaxing me? I don't even work here. I go vinyl. Ay ay ay, Carl, this I'm a sweet but. Okay, so uh, right, so next one. Can I get or? another uh, bass? Can I get another drink or bastard? Can I get? <laughs> can I, I don't know why I feel because it, it's just a nickname, but, but it I, seems. But well, you, like, you got a good rapport with bastard. Yeah, yeah. I did until the nickname. <laughs> Maybe he, he's gonna. If we, if he looks furious, probably it's our fault. The, the, this is the best time though to insult. Uh, staff, because generally, like you're like if you're in a restaurant or a bar, you're like ah oh, fuck they could spit in my shit. But now because of the mask, if he tries to spit in my drink, he'll just spit in his mask. <laughs> yeah. <that's true. laughs> so every time he'd be like ah oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. And in his mind, he'll be like stupid bastard. <laughs> like oh shit, thank you. Oh, okay. and nothing for me. Yeah, but uh, no, no, it's okay. Uh, I'm just kidding. This uh, time it was Charles. So we need a we need a nickname for Shal though. Yeah, yeah. Charles. Um, that's a good nickname. Charles. Char. Shal. Shal. Or like if, Charles. Whenever you hear Charles, you think of Prince Charles. Yeah. <laughs> That's not that yeah, much that, of a compliment. That, that, yeah. But maybe that's what we're going and for. That, you know how much that it suck for Bass that Bass's nickname is Bastard <laughs> and Charles's nickname is Prince. <laughs> 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 He'll be like, "What? <laughs> why? Why am I Bastard and he's Prince? <laughs> Everyone else's nickname <laughs> Chuck is King. <laughs> yeah. Yan is Duke." <laughs> And Bass is bastard. <laughs> okay, so next one. We are in a gay bar with masks. Okay. okay. With masks. Masks like uh, COVID masks yeah, or like COVID leather masks. masks? And we try to find out because we are uh, like we don't know each other. Okay. And we try to find out if we are attracted to each other's face, but without taking our masks off. Okay, so we have to wear a mask, I guess? Yes, for this okay. one. Yeah, all right. So we're in a gay bar, and are you, are, are you a contestant on Survivor? No. Or? Okay. No. Let's take a pause on Survivor. Okay, so now we go... Oh, I was about to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Did you try to take yes. a sip? Yeah. <laughs> and... Okay. All right. All right. So uh, let's say you, you, you look like in, in front of you. Okay. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hello, sir. What? Hello. Hey. Hey, how are you? Lovely eyes. I know. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I know. You're I very, got fucking, very confident. I got nice eyes. <laughs> you're you're yeah. a very confident man. I'm a very, I got pretty eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing. But you aren't, you're not the saying. The eyes, worst part of my face. I look, I look kind of, I have a big forehead. I look like I got a fat, fat face. Underneath the mask, super thin, super chiseled. <laughs> chiseled. <laughs> fucking Brad Pitt. They tell me. Every, oh. I take the mask off. They're like, are you Brad Pitt? That's why I became gay. Every time, I, everywhere I go, women are just fucking masturbating and fucking squirting all over me. Okay. I got to wear the goddamn mask. 
Don't look, don't look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I, you have credibility because since you have super lovely eyes and you say that's the worst part of your face. Yeah, it's, a, it's disgusting. My eyes are disgusting. Yeah, but you, you admit they're, they're disgusting. They're, they're, yeah, but you just said they were lovely. And the, the, they are. They're fucking beautiful. They're amazing. They're probably but in the compared best. compared to your, let's say, your, to your nose rest, and it's your just mouth. Garbage. It's just garbage. Ask a bastard. <laughs> ask a, Thank you, bastard. Ask gay bastard. Gay bastard. <laughs> uh, do, do, you, uh, do you? Uh, how do you find his eyes? See, he, said Fuck, he knows. Yeah, he knows. Yeah, he knows. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, uh, bastard. <laughs> Did you just call him bastard? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's my like dirty talk. Oh yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah. But. Uh, But uh, you are, uh, what I find strange, because I, I'm not saying that you should flirt back, but when I made the compliment, you never, you just said, yeah, my eyes are amazing, but never yeah. said anything about my yeah. mind. You have good vision. Qu'est-ce que je m'ennuie de ces impros de marde là? Aïe aïe, qu'est-ce que c'est bon comme ça? Non, 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 Yeah, I have, yeah, yeah. I have good vision, but you, do you have? I, I don't want to uh, to be uh, like uh, valorisé, uh, but uh, maybe like something that <laughs> that is not that I like about you. Yeah, but something that is not, that not goes back to you, like good vision. Okay. It was You're saying, very generous <laughs> for for uh, like buying drinks and shit. <laughs> No, but you are. I can tell that you're generous and you're going to buy drinks and then we'll go back to my place if you want and then, you know... You'll, uh, you'll, are you going to give me back we'll, drinks we'll, at your place? No, but we'll go to my place and then you'll go, ah, your living room's nice and I'll be like, oh, I don't really like my couch and then you'll buy me a new couch. <laughs> And then, then you'll be like, oh, we should have sex on the couch. I'll be like, I'm not a fucking slut. <laughs> and then you'll leave. And then I'll enjoy my couch with my wife and my three sons. <laughs> I'm not really gay. I'm just here for a couch. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you are, you are in exper experimenting? No, I just want a couch. I, I want, want a couch. I, I want a I, couch and Broy Martineau was closed. <laughs> so I was like, I'll go in that gay bar. I'll just fucking... Okay, so now you... I, I just... I, I, I just... I, I know you're a scam now. I'm not, I'm not a scam. Not you, scam. We, we both get something out of this. What, what you, do I get? You... I get a couch. You get to look at my pretty eyes. Okay, so eventually... Uh, well, we'll get home. You'll take out your mask. Take off your mask. Maybe. <laughs> Oh, yes. I'll put on a, a sexier, smaller mask. <laughs> Show some nose cleavage. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Can I see a bit of the chin just to... Let's see if I can get a quickie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I'm very yeah. That's very hot. It's very oh, hot. Very nice, yes. It is hot, yeah. <laughs> But yeah. uh, just to be clear, you, you don't care at all about my face. I don't, I don't care about your face. Okay. No, yeah. Is that because you're not superficial or you just like, you're just like my personality? I, I don't, I, you're not my type. You have a good yeah. vision. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm still there. Yeah. yeah. So do you like the way I dress? Yeah. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, the, uh, the office. Yeah, you, like don't, that. you don't yeah, like that TV show. I, I didn't like that TV show. I thought it was. Okay. Uh, I thought it was. You know, I don't like it. Okay, so maybe I should. Uh, I should Do you have, have any Seinfeld shirts? Uh, I have a Kramer uh, T-shirt at it, my place. If you want to come to my place, I could show you my Kramer T-shirt. Well, what's on your your uh, Kramer T-shirt? Is a, it the N-word? 
No. <laughs> no, no. It's, uh, <laughs> that was a good joke, I yes, thought, but no one got it. Yeah, I Because fucking good Michael good. Richards is a racist weirdo that yells shit <laughs> yes. on comedy stages. <laughs> but uh, no, it's uh, just like uh, Kramer in the uh, tableau. Okay. Oh, oh like it's in his... the, when he painted. Uh, he for, got... for his lawyer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> This is a worse gay bar conversation. Yeah, but you, I, I, I think I, I receive nothing in exchange. Yeah. I, I you know what's weird like... about this gay bar? No yeah. music. No, it's true because I, we want to. Uh, for me, uh, my music is your sentences. My sexy eyes. Yeah, your sexy eyes. All right. So I'll give you a compliment. You have nice legs. Nice legs. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, it, what, you the, should what, use uh, those nice legs to go to the bar and get me a drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> okay. Let's say I bring you back this. Because All right. Let's say I give you this. Like. All right. Well, thank you. You want to... It's, it's on me. Like, I, I don't know if it was clear, but that's on me. Okay. Yeah. You know, I, I, I got, since you bought me the drink, I knew the bartender wouldn't come see me and go, okay. that'll be... Seven dollars. Okay. Yeah, I know how bar, bars work. Yeah. I, 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 I cheers, you're tough to seduce because each time I try to say something that I think it's flirty, you just bash I, me. Yeah. And that, that hurts my feelings. So. Does it turn you on a little? Or? No. At all? I, your chin. When I saw your chin, just a glimpse, I, I wanted to quickie, yeah? Okay, yeah. All right. It's very... It's my, I want to, I need a phone book <laughs> fast. <laughs> because, uh, it's very, uh, very, very. So even your character likes to squish his cock on a phone book? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Is it over? Our relationship? And, uh, no, uh, I hope not because I, I see a future. Yeah. I, personally, I see you a future. You have nice ears. I have nice yeah, ears. Yeah, oh, you have nice we, ears, yeah. Okay, so now you, yeah. you seem to you be... You have nice legs, nice ears, a uh, uh, nice forehead. Okay. Yeah. And my eyebrows? No, uh, eyebrows, garbage. <laughs> 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 but apart from that, everything's perfect. You got a good body, you got good ears, you got nice legs, and then you got those fucking stupid eyes. Okay. So these stupid eyes with dumb eyebrows. Okay. I just want to... But I don't them. have at least uh, like a... A uh, e, e one eyebrow like yeah, uh, uh, Gregory Schall. You don't have a unibrow. I don't know who Gregory Schall is. No, uh, no, no. He plays like lots of songs. Oh, the unibrow guy. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> if you say like, uh, uh, let's say, uh, mm, Rocket Man from then, Elton John. And then he'll sing Rocket Man? We're, we're on the piano. Yeah, my, my phone can do that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not going to take you to Gregory Schall concert then? No, no. But I'd, I'd, I'd like to meet him. Do you know him? No. But I can maybe arrange something because if, uh, it, if it's my, uh, my key that to, you're get, in. to get into that's your in. ass. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know who Gregory Schall was a minute ago. But if you introduce me to him, you can definitely fuck me in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're kind of easy, but in a I'm, strange I'm way. very easy. Very, very easy. Yeah, but I could... It doesn't even have to be Gregory Schall. It could be... Anyone. Could any, any Gregory or any Schall. <laughs> yeah. Is it, can it be like the, the, the manager here? And that's end scene. So. <laughs> Stupid joke. Je comprends même pas ce que tu faisais en plus. C'est comme qu'est-ce qu'il crisse? Aïe, aïe, aïe. Stupid joke. Ah, Seigneur. Ben, moi, ça me fait. C'est comme je suis un show. Aïe, aïe, aïe. La joke de la vision, je pense que c'est ton meilleur gag au monde. Il a une nice vision. Tabarnak. <laughs> so do you want to play one of the lanceurs de discussion yeah we could okay <laughs> we could Whew, I'm just taking my wind 
I'm gaining back my wind. I'm, I don't think any of those expressions work. I'm catching my breath. Catching my breath. Yeah, exactly. That's good. Okay. Fuck. I wouldn't have guessed catching my breath from taking back my wind. <laughs> But the ga gaining back my wind was it? Gaining more? back your wind sounds like you farted in your hand and then smelt it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you used to do that when you were little? I used to do that to my friends. I'd fart in my hand and then do this. No, but I, uh, I, I think I told that. I don't know. I think it was at en route en plus, uh, in more. <laughs> no. no, I think it was. Uh, That I, I farted and my fart uh, was oh, aspired and I pushed it back and it like came back inside and it was like a multiple <laughs> fart that could I, I couldn't push out. It was coming back and I was refarting it. So it was going like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like an accordion? Yes, I was in a position when I was watching TV and maybe my ass was in a way to... Uh, to to suck the air back in and push it back. I don't know. It was very strange, but... Uh, it was like an air conditioner. <laughs> yes, in a way. <laughs> yes. Maybe it was too hot or too humid in my house. And, <laughs> and my parents told me, you can fart and take it back and push it again, maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yes. That doesn't make any medical sense. No, I, at all. Yeah. But do you I, want to I, do I, another maybe, improv? Yeah, because I like the uh, the okay. premise. Okay. Okay. So you are the Zamboni driver in the bubble for the NHL games in Toronto. Okay. Okay. Uh, but you act like a superstar. <laughs> I'm your friend. We are on FaceTime, and I try to make you realize that your role has gotten to your head. Okay. Okay. Everyone knows who the, the Zamboni driver is. Like a. The guy who drives the, the la resurfaceuse. Is you said in a, in a bubble? Is he in a bubble now? But I mean that since all the, the, the tournament is held in Toronto okay. and in Edmonton, everyone, all the employees, all the people at the restaurants, they are all in the bubble. You okay, cannot, okay, okay. I thought I was like, did they replace the the zamboni with like a, a bubble? No, just in case of no, people. No, I mean that everyone cough on is them? in the bubble, so I think they get the paid more because no one, neither the players or the employees that work in, uh, okay. in the hotels, they so can go out. So we're we're FaceTiming, and I'm or the Zamboni time. You're guy? in the bubble. We're FaceTiming, and okay. uh, you're the Zamboni driver. All right. Okay. And your name? You decide your name. Okay. All right. I'll be uh, Dennis. Dennis, all right. I like Dennis. I've never used Dennis as a name. Hey, man. Hey, Dennis. Yeah, Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Who are you? I'm uh, Michelle. Michelle? Oh, yeah, my brother. Yeah. yeah. How's it going? It's going well. How about yeah. you? Uh, fucking uh, everything's uh, smooth as ice. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Did you see me? Yeah, I saw you uh, between. I saw you just uh, like for uh, three three seconds at the end of a period. You're, what channel were you watching? A Sportsnet. No, nah, that's why. Yeah, because if you watch, if you had the NHL uh, package, uh, they show me for like 20 minutes. It was amazing. They told me best ratings they've ever gotten. Oh, yeah, yeah fucking, more than the game. More than the game. <laughs> why do, 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 do you do special tricks? When Max you? Domi asked me for an autograph. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. What do you do during your? Uh... I've, 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 I clean the ice. Yeah, you, I know, but do you do something special so that I, they? I brought... have a hockey stick and I, I, I shoot pucks at the in the audience. But there's no there's no audience. I don't know. I know. It just uh, it doesn't make sense. I, <laughs> I shoot it in the audience and then fucking they go crazy. Who goes crazy? Who, the, you... People. <laughs> there's no one. The fucking Max Domi. <laughs> yeah, okay. So Max Domi is impressed. Max Domi is impressed. Okay, so yes, yeah. for you, okay, but you, you, you do re realize that you, you're just the Zamboni driver, you're just like a, a helper. Yeah, yeah, I'm just the Zamboni driver, like fucking Barack Obama was just the first black president. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Luther King just had a dream. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Okay. We're great men. 
Yeah. Great man. And they told me when I started this, the fucking people are going to be jealous and fucking petty. And you know, you're just a fucking Zamboni driver. What do you do for a living? Now, you know, I'm, I'm a mailman. You're a mailman. Exactly. Yeah, I, I deliver mail like The a- internet fucking. I, I get my shit from Amazon. Okay. Get it right away. Mailman, stupid goddamn mailman, takes a goddamn week to send a letter. You know yeah, how long but, it takes me to send an email? One second. Okay, but why, why are you, like, uh, downgrading my job? Because mine is better. Yeah, but why? You're just doing something super uh, routine. Super routinely? <laughs> no, yeah, yeah that's what... Because pe- people don't see that. They think, oh, he just fucking does the ice and he rolls around in a circle. But sometimes people don't notice. Like, generally, it's eight feet wide. Sometimes I fucking, I, I do seven feet wide. Sometimes six oh. feet wide. I, I fucking. Who I, cares? I, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking reinventing the game. I'm, I'm a game changer. <laughs> Did you see the, the uh, documentary about Michael Jordan? Uh, the Last Dance, yeah. Last Dance, yeah, they're going to do one on me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they told me. Uh, okay. Yeah. They came, they came to my hotel room and they've been filming me watching an iPad. And uh, just me going, oh, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> they're, showing, they're showing you on the... Z- no, I, sorry, I don't know what they're doing. They just, <laughs> so far, it's just me uh, watching an iPad. I, I just going, what? That, no. that, that I, doesn't, I don't sound, that doesn't sound very good. I don't, I don't know. They just told me that that's how they make movies. I'm not, I'm not a movie guy. Maybe they're, they're making fun of you. That they're, that they're just... I don't think so. Why would they make fun of me? Because you, you just like it's, it's gone to your head. It's not that you're not doing some, something important. So you think while they were filming me and I could hear people giggling in the closet, they were just making fun of me. Yes. The giggles, I think it's like you're a little. You uh, think that they cute. gave me the nickname Dum Dum because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a joke? I think it was. <laughs> <laughs> ok, on va l'arrêter là. <rire> bon, il est fier. Il est fier de son de sa joke. Mais c'est correct, il était bon. <rire> euh, je ne sais pas trop s'il y a comme... Y a-t-il une heure de, de, de limite de, 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 qu'on décrit? Euh, de, ben, tu sais, le last call était il y a 15 minutes, mais euh, okay, la, la police va arriver euh... dans 20 minutes. <rire> on va faire encore un 5, ouais. oh, mettons. Ouais, ben, ouais. Okay. ben, on pourrait faire une dernière impro, puis après ça, conclure. Ben, toi, fais-le, moi, je vais m'en aller. Ah, OK. <rire> <rire> non, on peut continuer, c'est juste le monde ne peut plus avoir d'alcool. OK, ben c'est ça. Mais... Ah ouais, on a le Parfait. droit. OK. Euh, là, j'avais marqué que ce serait notre longest... Im- uh, I, I wrote that it was going to be our longest improv yet. OK. It was going to be like a dare, but uh, maybe not. But um, so you are the guide in a zoo. OK. And you make me visit. I'm 44, but you are treating me like I'm 11 year old. OK. For no apparent reason. OK. So I, we're just on a right. one-on-one. Like, okay, so like we're a, in a zoo. I'm a 44-year-old guy <laughs> who just comes to the zoo and needs a guide because... Okay. To, okay. Hey, man. Hey. Do you recognize me? <laughs> uh, you, you, your face seems familiar. Maybe. Tiger King? Oh. <laughs> Tiger King? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I thought you were going to say I was the Zamboni guy on no, no, no. sports. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, I seen to I sucked uh, Joe Exotic's uh, cock for a crystal meth. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not even gay. Okay, yeah. I don't even do crystal meth. Okay. It was a dare. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, have you been? It's like you, you uh, your bounce, your bounce back job is this? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm a, I'm a tour guide at the zoo. And did they, hire, did they hire you because you were a Netflix star? I, I didn't tell them. I didn't tell them. But 
just must be the, the their point. They don't know. They don't know. Do you, do you have uh, do you have your ticket? Yes. All right. Okay. Okay, very, let's go. Also very big. Okay. Yeah, that's a big ticket. Do you <laughs> do you have any uh, crystal meth? <laughs> Uh, yes, but I don't uh, usually uh, give them uh, give it to strangers super fast. I'm so not maybe... a stranger. Now you're not a stranger. That's true. We're but bros now. Not already, but uh, maybe like uh, we could. You can show me like maybe three, uh, two, three cages. Oh shit! <laughs> okay. What is it? Wanna... Two or three cages, and then do, maybe. Do you want to we'll go talk? shoot some penguins? No. We can I shoot I penguins. Sh I don't want to shoot any animals. They're fucking slow as shit. They're easy to hit. <laughs> They're so easy to hit. <laughs> <laughs> they got little feet. They're, you hit If you hit one right in the right spot, he falls over and knocks the other ones out. It feels like you're bowling. I don't want to do that. I, 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 fucking I, strike. It's like a strike. I'm a, I'm a pacifist. I love animals. I, just I love animals too. Yeah, but why do you shoot penguins? Penguins aren't animals. They're fucking the stupid birds. <laughs> they're birds. Fucking icebergs. Okay, but yeah. no, maybe... No. They don't even fly. Yeah, true, but why? Can we skip that activity? Shooting the... So you don't want to <laughs> shoot a penguin? I don't want to shoot penguins. But I, 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 I'm, I'm willing to give you heroin. Okay. But You're willing to give me what? Heroin. Heroin. I don't, I'm, I don't want heroin. Oh, you I want, want a crystal meth. Oh, crystal meth, sorry. Fucking yeah, ice. Ice. Okay. Yeah, I want ice. I don't, I'm not a goddamn drug addict. But is that like your, your, uh, your uh, tip? Is that, is that the, the tip you expect with each customer, like crystal meth? I don't expect it. But, uh, you know, it's a, you appreciate it's, it's it. a, a little bit of fucking uh, savoir vivre. <laughs> just, yeah. It's just, I appreciate it. Exactly. <laughs> you go to the restaurant, what do you leave? What? When you go to a restaurant, what do you leave? I leave, uh, like, let's say uh, 20%, 20 of the percent, bill. 20% in, in cash? Uh, yes, usually. Okay. And you? And, uh, yeah, uh, same thing. Yeah, but you, you, when you work, you expect otherwise. I, I, either cash or... Well, if, either crystal meth or cash with a number of uh, someone that sells crystal meth. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so the penguin thing. No, no. I'm not okay. interested. All right. All but right. I'm interested in uh, everything, but no shooting and no uh, archery, no either. Do you want to go punch a camel? <laughs> Have you ever punched a camel? No. Is it supposed to be fun? Punch it right in the fucking stupid nose. Why? Uh, uh, is there something that is like, uh, like uh, sweet? That we can do something sweet like... Nothing sweeter than punching a camel in the stupid <laughs> face. <laughs> you hit it in the sweet spot, fucking falls down, shits itself. Laugh, laugh, laugh. It's the best goddamn... It's the best, it's the best thing ever. It's, it's almost as good as crystal meth. Okay, but what about, like, let's say uh, I want to start with the Grizzlies. Can we, like, can you we wanna just... You want to fuck a grizzly? No, I don't want to fuck a grizzly. I just... Here's the thing. Can... I'll hold them, you fuck them. Okay, I just want to test you. You hold them, I fuck them. Just one second before that. I just want to test how uh, knowledgeable you are about the about animals grizzlies? Here. Ask me the color. Uh, what color are they? They're pink. <laughs> or actually, they're black, but they have white fur. Or they might be pink. I don't know. I never, I never shaved a grizzly. They, but they have white fur. Okay, so... I think I, they're black, though. Like, I'd say black. Can, can we just go in front of them? Well, what's the answer? I would say they're, uh, they're brown. They're brown? Dark, dark brown. <laughs> they're dark brown? All right. I think. I think they're dark brown. <laughs> That's a weird test that you don't even know the answer. I, I, no, I, I wanted you to... Bring me in front of the Grizzlies and okay. say your shit like it was. Uh, okay. This one is like uh, 28 years All old. Right. He's been uh, he's been there before. All right, so let's go to the Grizzlies. Or let's you oh, can look, decide where. Uh, 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 All right, they're right here. The Grizzlies. Oh. All right. Okay. That one's uh, Steve. Okay. <laughs> and uh, that one's uh, dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's his name, or is no, he? No, he's like... dead. He died. <laughs> yeah, he died. <laughs> I, I just haven't had time to fucking uh, bury him yet. Yeah, but w w that's like morbid. Yeah, morbid. He's a goddamn. Uh, he's a, he's a he's a bear. A bear is like the fucking bird of the Arctic. 
Yeah, but who the, cares about a stupid bear? I care. I said that I didn't like when they were deafs and I didn't want to shoot anything. We didn't shoot them. No, that's true. The guy before you shot him. <laughs> <laughs> because you, 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 you offered that to him? Uh, you know. <laughs> Does your boss know that you uh, suggest that to the uh, clients? Do you know my boss? <laughs> no, he's... Is he someone from Netflix? No, no, he's a, he's a nice man. He hired me. I told him I had a PhD in uh, uh, fucking animals and shit. And uh, he he uh, he asked me what university, and then I fist bumped him. <laughs> oh, that's it. And then yeah, we we did shots, and then fucking I bought some cocaine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's it's a, it's a cool zoo. So I, 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 I'm, I'm seeing my, my watch and I see that in one minute there is a dolphin uh, show. Where? <laughs> at, the, at, at the zoo. We have dolphins here? <laughs> yes, you do. You know how fucking I love dolphins? Yeah, but... We you... should go ride one. Okay. You know how they do sometimes at SeaWorld, you can get on a dolphin on its, on its head yeah. and swim around? We're not going to make him suffer, though. We right? should get the dolphin out of the water, put him on a motorcycle... You stand on his head, I shoot your feet, you dance, he fucking dies. <laughs> okay. We can do that. I, I, some, it's the first thing, uh, a, a bit... Uh, a bit dr- fun. A bit drastic that I say yes to, so we can, we can try it. All right. So, but we, we have dolphins here for real? Yes, you, you, you do. Okay, I didn't even know. Yeah, but you get, there's a section you never get because... God damn, is that where... Oh, fuck. What? God, I remember when I started working here, my boss told me, don't forget to fucking feed the dolphins. And I was wondering why every day we'd get 400 pounds of fish. Mm-hmm. And I was like, who eats all this fucking fish? I'd have fish, I'd have fish for breakfast, fish for lunch. Yeah, that was for that, probably. Yeah, God damn it. How, uh, uh, how many times a year are they supposed to eat? A year? The dolphins. I think it's probably like but they, three they times hibernate? a day. They're, they're like, they can hibernate? They, they can uh, go like not a here. couple it's of months? Like, uh, yeah, but not here. It's not, there's no winter here. There's a winter, but the, it doesn't change the climate. So, so uh, <laughs> but a, a dolphin can go like uh, uh, six months without eating? They're I like don't chipmunks. think so. Aren't they like chipmunks? No. Don't they put like, fuck, they, they hide nuts in the... In the ocean? No. Are you sure? Yes, I'm pretty sure. What kind of uh, guy are you? Employee of the month. <laughs> that's, that's what I am. Ça, <laughs> ce gag-là, c'était juste du timing. C'est un peu le bon gag. So I think we're going to end it here. Uh, the podcast or the yeah. improv? But the, the podcast. Okay. But or the improv and the podcast. But we can see like you have to give him uh, give me a homework. Oh yeah, that's true. We need a uh, we need homework. Okay. So you'll have to um uh and now all I think about is murdering animals. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's a that could be a, an angle. Why uh, okay don't why? give me like a 1,200 reasons why no. you like uh, Paul Prince. Why raccoons are the true king of the forest? And a raccoon is like a faucon? No, a raccoon is a raton laveur. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And what is a faucon? A falcon, uh, right? Yeah, it's a falcon. <laughs> yeah. So a raccoon, <laughs> yeah. Je suis devenu un idiot pendant la COVID. Or, oh shit! No, okay, yeah, yeah. Or st- uh, what you could do is how a raccoon convinced the, the the falcons that he was one of them and became their leader. Carlist, you 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 me la simplifie de plus en plus. Okay, or just just uh, your homework is what is a raccoon? What is a raccoon? Like what, what is, is a, a restaurant? Raccoon? Yeah, what is a what is a raccoon? And maybe what is a raccoon will become the second part of why do I hate Mike Ward? <laughs> like exactly. This, 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 it's gonna be a subtext. Okay, so uh, what is a raccoon? What is a raccoon? But what is it, what was your first idea? The first one is why is a raccoon the true king of the forest? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take that. Yeah. 
because it's more uh, open so yeah. i think I, i'm gonna take that so so uh it, chuck if i forget why is a raccoon the real king of the jungle no problem yeah. right? uh, of the forest oh no uh, of the jungle i uh, rather the jungle yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There are no raccoons in the jungle. <laughs> But they're just... Or a... the true king. Like, you know how in some countries yeah. the king had to flee? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe the raccoon had to flee the jungle because yeah. there was uprising because of the stupid lions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, the, the raccoon bumped the lion in the, the jungle. Yeah. <laughs> and we're going to learn how. It's going to exactly. be uh, fascinating, right? Yeah. And we should do that for, for next week's show. And the last homework I gave you, fuck it. Because we used to do like two episodes a night. Yeah. So, we're not so, like... so you do one in two weeks. And, it, and everyone so, forgot whatever the... But people are going to be uh, saying like I was a tease when I said 900 reasons why I like drum Oh, though. yeah. Because people in Drummondville were really expecting do you this. Do you want to do? Can you do? Can you do two? Uh, two? I'm, I'm going to do. Th I'm going to do three reasons why I like Drummondville, and then I'll go with the raccoon thing. Okay, yeah. Is that and, good? Or, or it could be four reasons, and four? one of your reasons why you like Drummondville is because the raccoons are the king of the jungle. <laughs> okay. Or yeah. five reasons, and one of them has to be because uh, Louis Marisette is from there. Oh yeah. Yeah. And uh, also Marcel Dion. Uh, Marcel Dion is from... Uh, uh, or Dumbledore? Gilbert Perrault. I don't yeah. know. I think it's Marcel Dion. Not sure. Yeah. Uh, I think it's Marcel Dion because... Oh, I'll check it out on Google. All right. So, um, uh, thanks. Uh, thank Mike. My, uh, thank Mike. Thank Mike. <laughs> Thank you, Mike, uh, my You're great welcome. teacher. Uh, big applause for Mike Ward. Thank you very much. The, 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 funniest, the funniest guy in uh, North America. But uh, when you go out of North America, you become like I super suck. bad. Yeah. yeah. But you're very I good suck in North in, America. in Africa and Australia. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, thank you for everyone, uh, for everyone. Uh, sorry, my, uh, I'm rusty, but I, I'm not a bastard like, uh, like a bastard. Like Charles. <laughs> <Not> Charles. <laughs> <laughs> you just fuck up every nickname. Uh, thank you, Chuck. Uh, thank you, Jan. I don't know if Jan uh, stayed. Uh, thank you, Jan. Thank you uh, for everyone. And uh, see you in two weeks. This episode is uh, September 4 or it's going to be uh, September 18th, the next episode. Okay. And they're all, they're all free everywhere, but we, it's live on my Patreon. Yeah. But we can put it live on YouTube, you, like you decide. I don't really care. Uh, we'll talk about it, but uh, uh, it's going to be on my uh, En Route Vers Survivor channel on YouTube, so subscribe, and it's also on uh, Spotify, iTunes, and uh, Google Play. And uh, bouclair.com. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mike. And see you in two weeks. Thank you. Bye.